Ingram went on to on our basic liberties there have been. School closures deny children quality education that was the freedom to learn the facts, and Max fast vaccine and mask mandates deprived us of our freedom to decide what we put into our own bodies. Stay-at-home orders destroyed small businesses while large corporations thrived. That was our freedom to work. Then big tech censorship where YouTube, Twitter, Facebook they acted as proxy speech police for the government, our freedom of expression. Anyone who didn't tell the Fauci line, even treating physicians and renowned researchers were threatened. They were suspended, maligned and even banned completely, said Ingram. Ontario's leader vows, serious consequences, for protesters still gathering in Ottawa the host also highlighted multiple examples of Biden pushing back on the idea of freedom, I love how people talk about personal freedom. If you're exercising personal freedom, should you put someone else in jeopardy, their health in jeopardy? I don't consider that being freedom, said Biden, in one example. Never thought I would hear a president say something like that, said Ingram. And the media picks it up and then repeats it with their own lame flourish. Now the message is to be afraid of those who want freedom, get the Fox News app here despite this war on freedom from democratic authoritarians, Ingram says that this, anti-freedom coalition, is crumbling. Even though the ends for them always justify the means, we know what was going on. And the press they did too, but they didn't cover the stories that mattered. They covered them up. But here's the good news. The anti-freedom coalition is unraveling.